What's up YouTube, Zero here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick comparison video between the M13 and the Kilo 141. These are two assault rifles in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The first thing we have to talk about are the base statistics of these two guns. Now for the Kilo 141, it deals greater damage, and that's about it when it comes to the base statistics. The M13 has greater accuracy, fire rate, mobility, and control. Now both of these have the same range. But that's not the end of the story. Let's talk about the time to kill of these two guns. And do take this with a grain of salt. These numbers were calculated a few months ago. In Warzone, with three armor plates, the Kilo 141 has a time to kill of 616 milliseconds, and the M13 has a time to kill of 650 milliseconds. Now that is shooting to the chest with three armor plates. No headshots are involved. That's just something to take into consideration. That the Kilo does have a faster time to kill, but we saw the statistics and the M13 does have a little bit better statistics in a lot of different categories. But that's not the end of it. Let's talk about the attachments. Attachment wise, both of these guns get a lot of similar attachments. Now for the M13, it has a couple of different attachments that'll make it a little bit better closer range. The Kilo has a couple of attachments that are going to make it a little bit better further range, but there are so many attachments on these guns that you can really customize them the way you want. The biggest difference that I see when looking at these is in the ammunition category. Now, both of these get a 50 and 60 round mag for if you hate reloading, the Kilo gets a 100 round mag if you really hate reloading. Now, the only time I can really see you using that or really having a need for it is when you're on a really close range map, such as Shoot House or Shipment. I don't really see a need for it other than that, or maybe if you're really that bad of a shot, but I just don't see a need for a 100 round mag. The M13 does get a magazine that is actually really cool. It's a 300 blackout 30 round mag. What that does is it increases the damage, lowers the fire rate, and it also makes it so that skull and crossbones after you get a kill doesn't show up on the map. That's why it's called the blackout. That's a really cool attachment to have. I've used it before. I like it. I'm not saying that you should attach it as there are better five attachment setups on the gun, but it is definitely something that's cool to use. Now, let's talk about which gun I prefer and why. Both of these guns are very well rounded. They're very good. There are a lot of attachments that you can equip on either of these two guns to make them work and make them a very good gun. However, there's one gun in my opinion that has the slight edge and I know some people are going to be mad at me for saying this, but I prefer the M13 over the Kilo 141. Again, there are a couple of attachments on the Kilo like the 100 round mag that I don't really understand or do you really need it? Maybe if you want to run shipment, you may pick the Kilo for the 100 round mag, but I don't see it. I prefer the M13. It has a lot of different combinations where you could do well short range, long range, and you have a lot better statistics for those longer range combats, and it's going to help you get those headshots easier. So again, the time to kill on the Kilo is a little bit better, but because the statistic allocation besides damage is in favor of the M13, it's going to be easier to get those headshots. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Call of Duty Modern Warfare content. Well, until next time, peace.